What up, what up, what up, y'all? It's your boy, Moan T. And it's time for that five-minute cigar review. You know how I like to do it, and so I'm just going to do it. I told myself I got to stop giving weather reports because when I say that the weather is bad today or good today, and then I release the video months later, it just doesn't match up, and eh, sometimes people get confused. So, not going to tell you that the weather was cold as freak today. Uh... I'm just going to get into the review. So today's special guest, here we go. Brrr. Uh oh, there's a lot of glare on there. It is the Aging Room Maduro. Aging Room Maduro. Can you see that? Man, I just can't get that glare off of it. Aging Room Maduro. Look at that tight ash. Isn't that nice? Mmm. Aging Room Maduro. So let me tell you what it's got in it. And then we'll get into the rest of it. It is, uh, the wrapper is Nicaraguan Maduro. The uh, binder and filler are both Dominican Republic. And I'm going to go ahead and give this one three and a half fingers. Three and a half fingers. Three and a half. It's a pretty decent cigar. Uh, Aging Room, I don't have anything against them. They make pretty decent cigars. I really wasn't impressed with that, uh, what was it, the Aging Room, Nicaragua, Maestro, or whatever that was, Cuatro, Nicaragua, the number one cigar for 2019. I, I wasn't impressed with it. It was it was a decent cigar, not a great cigar. Um, I think I gave it like maybe a two-something of other fingers. I can't remember. But part of that was almost the insult to me as a cigar enthusiast um, that that is the number one cigar, but the Padron, I think it was the Padron 26, was number two. And in my estimation, there's no way that uh, Asian Room ever beats out a Padron. But anyway, today is not about that. Today is about this. And this is the Maduro, the Aging Room Maduro. And as I said, I give it three and a half fingers. I've already told you what it has in it. And let me tell you, this is no slouch. Um, right off the bat, you get some notes of chocolate or something sweetie like that. It's like it's like the almost a combination of the bitter like the baker's chocolate, <clears throat> along with a little bit of the sweet sweet chocolate, dark chocolate maybe. <sighs> very, very, and I'm talking about very little spice on it, um, but a little bit of an earthy, leathery, sort of that natural uh, flavor that I talk about sometimes. <clears throat> it's a good cigar, good smoke, good build. The draw on this is really, really good. Um, this is just a little shorty, a little Robusto. Uh, factory, or not factory press, a little, little box press, but, um, and because of that, it's, this one smokes a little too fast for me, I like a cigar to last a little bit longer, even the smaller ones I like, this one, uh, when I smoked it the other day, I think I got less than 30 minutes out of it, I've already been smoking, I've only been smoking this one, or already been smoking it, whatever, about, uh, mm, two minutes, and it's like, uh, well, you saw the ash, it was about an inch in already, maybe about, Maybe about five minutes. But it does have good construction. Um, I don't know if you can see. It was nice and oily when I took it out. I, I kind of screwed up today. I had planned on doing this uh, review. And I took it out of my humidor. Took it out of the cellophane. I let it sit. Um, and I've been sitting in the cave for probably half an hour. So it doesn't have the oily, shiny look that sometimes the, 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 these have it, it, but it did have it when I took it out of the humidor, um, but because I let it sit out here for, like I said, just about half an hour, it uh, kind of lost some of that, but again, it's not a bad smoke, um, the draw, like I said, is nice and good, the construction is good, feels good in the hand, I like this little box press, tastes good, smokes really, um, I think I said it in previous ones. I can't remember. I know I've, I know I've talked about it. I just don't know if I've released those videos. But I like a nice smoky cigar sometimes. And this one puts off a pretty good amount of smoke, as you can see. I mean, it's not like crazy smoke. But I turned off the exhaust fan. And the room is getting smoky already. I don't know if you can hear the heater in here because it was freaking cold today. But, uh, at the, anyway, I'm starting to ramble. You got the picture. This is a pretty good cigar. Go check it out. It's the Aging Room Maduro. 
three and a half fingers. It's got the, uh, what did I say, Ecuador? No. I said uh, Nicaraguan uh, um, wrapper uh, with Dominican Republic binder and filler. And it's got the chocolate. It's got the uh, uh, little earthy, little leathery, and a little in you know, the spice. Uh, recap on that for you guys kind of rambling because I've had kind of a funky day maybe I'll talk about that in another video but uh, that's it for tonight hope you guys enjoyed this don't forget to like and subscribe don't forget to leave your comments and don't forget to share these videos with your friends enemies and everyone else and uh, y'all will see me soon peace out